Welcome, everybody. I'm Kyle Hines, and I'll be hosting the Players Podcast, a GTM family production in partnership with the EuroLeague Players Association. I will be having in-depth conversations with current and former EuroLeague players about important topics that many athletes face on and off the basketball court. Stay tuned for more episodes. What up, everybody? Welcome to another special episode of the Players Podcast presented by the EuroLeague Players Association. Today, I have a very special guest, my brate, my brother, you know, one of my most favorite people in the whole entire world, a three-time EuroLeague champion, Pero Antic. Pero, man, what's up, man? How are you? What's up, brate? Miss you too, man. Finally on your your, your podcast, man. Definitely, man. I've been chasing you for like five years, I feel like, man. Yeah, I was trying to get paid, man, but I, I see like, <laughs> no payments. I say, man, I let me see my brother, man. Man, you 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 got enough money, man. You should be paying me. And I I I went I retired two two three years ago, man. Uh, hey, man, I I check I, ch- I, I check your Instagram page out, man. I know what you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> like I like it. It introduce Luca, man. You gotta you gotta get you gotta. Man, get this is my my son. Carl, Carl knew him. When he was a little boy, little yeah. baby, but he's he grown. Luca, Luca is playing basketball. He started to go by my footsteps, but he's doing good so far. Luca, That's do good. you want to say something? Well, what's up to the people? Say what's yeah, up. What's up? No pressure, man. It's Kyle Times, <laughs> man. It's Kyle Times. <laughs> let's let's start there. Let's talk about your footsteps, man. So growing up. You know, you know, what were your first influences in basketball? Like, how did you fall in love with basketball? Uh, man, by by accident, just suddenly like that. Yeah. I saw kids, you know, kids, you know how it's in Europe. They go from the juniors. They start from little. They go to the club. They choose them from a lot of kids. They will choose certain group of 40 talented kids that they think that they are. So... I asked my older brother, like, where are you going, man? I go to sign up for the basketball school. I say, okay, I'll come with you. And this is how my yeah. my story, my basketball story started. So I'm happy for that. It's just that easy. So who, who were your, like, besides your older brother, but who were your basketball influences growing up? Like, who were you watching, you know, on, on TV or were, like, pros or in Europe or, or the NBA that you were watching oh. that you that you tried to be like? Oh, a lot. I wanted to be like I wanted to be like Kyle Hines. Oh man! Uh, I'm going, I'm going with teams. When I was when I was when I was kid, you know, uh, I my idol was is you don't know him. He's number twelve. I wear number twelve number because of him, Dan Jovanovski. Uh huh. He's like one of the best players from our country. Mm-hmm. So he was my idol. And uh, how I started in uh, in Europe, I think in every country in Europe, especially in Balkan. If you made from all these categories and they choose you to be in the first team, for you was like the top, you know. NBA was like that's it. Not thinking you, you just wanted to go to the A team and you yeah. think that it's the whole world. It's not like today's kids, you know. They start immediately from the contract. Where is my contract? Yeah, you know? yeah. where's the where's pure the love of basketball? Show me the money right away. Yeah, show me the money. You know, that's how how you started, but you become very good. He, he's Scott Hines. He's one of the nicest people with. A robotic body with muscles. <laughs> you think that he will kill people? He's the nicest guy ever, and he was pissing us off, me and Kesha and Marty Gajewicius a lot because hey, you cannot be so nice. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, man. It's my nature, man. Can't, I know can't, all can't, your family, man. All your can't, family is nice. You can't, you can't and I'm happy to that. be part of. Yeah, man, you're you're my family, man. You know, you're my brother. Yeah. Always, always, always. Now, no, many, many people don't know it. I, and if I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, but you went to high school in the States, correct? Yep. yep. So they talk, choose- talk about that experience. How did you, how did you go from the Balkans to, to high school? You said it was, it was in uh, DC, right? Or something like that? DC, Washington, yeah. DC, you know, yeah. the John Thompson, you know, the Georgetown University, yeah. uh, watched some tapes and they choose me to go to Georgetown University, but I had two more years in high school. So they had to put me in high school. So they, uh, they worked with the Archbishop Carroll High School, a Catholic yeah. high school in DC. So that's where I started my, let's say, journey by myself because I was like 16 and a half years old, uh, leaving the Balkans and going to DC, the, the USA. You know, I was afraid. I knew English, but, yeah. you know, the confidence is 
he's a little bit poor at that time, you know, yeah. young, oh, America. Yeah, America man, was I, how, us, yeah, how was that? How was that experience? Like, you know, because DC is not an easy place to, to live at. Um, so how was that experience coming from the Balkans? And now all of a sudden you're this, you know, tall, you know, European kid that's just walking around, you know, the, the streets of eyebrow. Washington, D.C. I had one eyebrow, like yeah. AD. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, it, it built up, you know, my confidence, you know, yeah. uh, the level of confidence went way high because, you know, living by yourself. But I wasn't living by myself. I was living, living in a family. But again, I was like myself. I was on the rooftop, yeah. you know, in the in the attic. Yeah, the attic. Yeah, the attic. And uh, <laughs> it was only school because the school started from you have to wake up at 7 a.m. Yeah. Or 6 a.m. to pack yeah. your stuff, walk to the bus station, change the bus to the school. It was something new, you know. Yeah. And the books, man, I were heavy. They were like this, this big. And you have to carry, you know, how is it? It's one with one the books, back, one yeah. with the... With the gym, gym stuff because Luca, Luca, after, Luca, do you hear this? We, 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 we had to carry books. We don't have the iPad yeah. like you do. It, it. Yeah, <laughs> iPad. Man, they all... So it was big experience because I will tell you in a basketball way. Uh, before I leave, before I left for US, they choose me to play for the national team where my big brother was mm -hmm. and all the stars because I was like the little kid. So I was the, like the last player over there, you know, like the kid they, they put on the sides, you clap, you cheer, <laughs> waving the towel. That, you know, <laughs> waving the towel and you don't do nothing basically. So after eight months in US, when I came back in the same national team, I was the boss. I was the leader, really? the first scorer, the first uh, rebounder. I was like the main guy. You can, you see, you see what happening, you know, in, that everything is in your head, you know, psychology. I, I didn't change a lot. I didn't grow maybe a little bit muscles. My eyebrows started to be two at that time, you know. So after eight months, you see how, how things can change, you know, your self-confidence. But I, I always say before I had the kids, when they asked me, hey, what you suggest for the education for the kids, yeah. for their growth mentally, I say, hey, send them to you, you see. I went through that experience. Now I have a 14 year old kid. So in two years from now, I left for US. I, I, I yeah, something that, that, that is difficult to send. That, that's what I, that's what I was gonna ask. Like as a father, like like it's would difficult, you, man. Would you said you like I, I, I don't want to be yeah. If Lucas said that I want to go to school in the states, like oh for you, sure, for sure, he will have my. I will support him in how, anything. You know how hard would it be for you? You would probably be there oh, right so with him. Oh, so bad. You know me that I will rent an apartment somewhere over there. <laughs> he will not know, and I will follow him like everywhere. <laughs> it's, diff it's different, you know. You like parents, and yeah. uh, you know how is it now? It's, yeah, it's different. It's different, you know, and it's different times now, because in our time was different. Uh, now it's different. Everything mm -hmm. is a little bit faster, much fast, faster, but. Overall, I'm happy with his growth. He's playing here basketball. Yeah. And he does, hey, please help me. He doesn't let me go to watch his games, man. I mean, <laughs> like I I'm making either. pressure I mean, I'm to him. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure the pressure of, you know, having, you know, Paro Antich as my father. I mean, I'm sure that's not the, you know, the easiest thing to deal with. You know, you pull up yeah. in the Ferrari, you know, with the music. Come on, man. <laughs> I will walk. I will walk. You tell me the conditions, you know, I will accept everything. Just, I came one game with a hoodie. Like, uh, you know, now also like a president of the Basketball yeah. Federation of Macedonia. My son thinks that all the, the, the middle son, Pavel, thinks yeah. that all the gyms are mine. All the clubs are mine. So in the middle of the game, he tried to go on the court. I said, hey, boy, where are you going? Daddy, you are president of all basketball in Macedonia. I can go tell them to let me go to shoot. I said, come on, man. You got to What you got to do is you got to let him go and you got to sneak around back. You know, with your oh. sunglasses or hoodie on and just watching. And, and I did that. In. I did that in Belgrade. Yeah. And then he won the first medal. And that was like the special feeling for me, you know, to oh, see congrats. Congrats. your son. And he had uh, some emotional thing like, you know me, we play yeah. together a lot. Yeah. Uh, when it was, yeah, and one. And I'm like, oh, I have goosebumps now saying this. He said, and one. I have the video. The coach sent me the video. I said, yeah. look at this. Uh, he have my jeans. You know, proud, he's proud, good boy, but... proud dad moment. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now you 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 just talked about like so you had the opportunity to go to Georgetown. How come you didn't go? And then, um, you know, what was John Thompson's a legendary 
figure in, in, in basketball. So what was he like, you know, the first time you met him? I know he's like this 6'10", you know, intimidating, you know, big black guy. But what was he like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, the, I, met, I met him and talked to him as soon as I came. I met him once. Yeah. And he's, you know, with a slow voice. Yeah. And I went to this small gym of George Sound. And he's sitting in these old American chairs, you know, that you go up, down, you know. Yeah. You know the cow? Rocking, rocking, chair. rocking chair, you see? Yeah. My English is bad, people don't. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I have kids that will tell me and learn. And he's like, he just asked me, are you good? And I stopped. I was like, hey, hello. Are you good? Uh, I didn't know what to say, you know. In, in my time, if you say I'm good, then you you're, you think that you're something special. Yeah. I tell him, ah, Mr. Thompson, uh, let I let the coaches tell and the other. <laughs> okay, you be practice. I have my eyes on you, because they were watching. Because Ruben Bumche Bumche, this yeah. player I saw, we went in Archbishop Caron uh, and Georgetown always send the kids before before they go to Georgetown. If they if they have still they, if they still have some high school years to pass, they send him there, and. Uh, it happened, you know, I, I, was, I was supposed to stay after the junior year, one more senior year, but I had an offer from uh, our dear friend Dragan Shakota, you know, uh -huh. because I went to a tournament, this thing that I told you from the last kid in the team, now I'm yeah. the boss, and we went in Greece. This is funny story, you know, I think we talked about it, but we're going to talk also now. How my how Shakota saw me, you know, because yeah. also you, there is a lot of talented kids, you know, they practice a lot, but they don't have an opportunity people to see them. Now it's much easier, but at that time, you know, it was still difficult. Yeah. So Shakota signed Taputos and uh, one more guy <laughs> from the national team. Uh -huh. And we had a tournament, Macedonia, uh, Greece, the... I remember Denga Zurich play, U.S. Mm -hmm. college team mm -hmm. and the Czech Republic. And Shakota from the... Sipping with drinks on the beach, relaxing. He said, let me see to check my, my guys from the Greek national team. So he came to our game and he saw me. I averaged on four games. Those were two first trophies yeah. that I individually get. The first quarter, 28 point something points and 14 rebounds average. And that was first time that I saw that I can shoot and I can because I was always a role player. <laughs> so that's how Shakuda said, hey, hey, I'm taking this kid. Taking Tell you. my father to... And he take he took he took me to I. So it was it for you? Was it like I go to live in Athens or go back to DC? So you easy oh. kind of easy choice. <laughs> hey, I can I caught the drachmas, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My first contract in Greece was in drachmas. Yeah. <laughs> that was the currency then. So you see how old I am, man. <laughs> and we're the same age, and you still playing, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you can play, hey. If you stop playing, I know people told me the same. If you stop, if you stop playing ten more years, man, with that body, with that conditions, and that's how how you play. Oh, if man, you stop, you're crazy, man. We'll see, man. We'll see, man. We'll see. You, you know how it is when you wake up in the morning. Sometimes you're just like, ah, I don't. I will send cash. I will send cash. I will send cash to you, man. And you, you, we will still. Keep playing. <laughs> nah, man, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Now, when you went to Ike, do you remember your first your first professional game? Uh, yes, it was against Tibona, and my first basket was dunk, A dunk? against Dino Raja. Seriously? Dino Raja came back from this uh, <laughs> lockout yeah. in Europe. Yeah. And just played, but I didn't dunk over him. Let's let's be clear, you know. Uh, okay. You don't, he didn't so you even back out to like, who is this kid? You know, I, I push him. You, you the dunk by him. <laughs> and I didn't know. I I went up and I jumped. Then I was jumping. I danced. I said, damn, Pero, what you did, man. Dino Raja just let you in a way. But I have a picture, you know, how I danced. Yeah. And he's watching me. I said, <laughs> I remember the first practice. Really? It was almost it was almost like when I came to the NBA, man. You really? come and you see the, all these all these players, the big yeah. names that you watch on TV yeah, yeah. before <laughs> few months and suddenly i have to practice you know jim bilba the french legend you know and you were what how old you were you were 18 years old 17, i was 18? 17 years old 17 wow. years old wow and and i see i see you know me and spanulis and billy billy went then in marusi yeah. i came in i yeah i was with borussis i was yeah. with Ciaras, uh, all these guys man yeah. this year zizic zizic 
Yeah, Zizic. I call him Zizic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you now Ike? You know, for people that don't don't know, that was one of the most famous clubs in Greece, and you were part of the 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 team that I guess you could say broke up the championships between Panathinaikos and Olympiakos. Yes. Um, so let's talk about that year because I know that was a uh, it was kind of I guess you could say uh, um, the most historical year, one of the most historical years in Greek basketball. Because for people that don't know, Panathinaikos has won all the championships, and Olympiakos has won a few. Kind of and then, it, yeah, it. and then you have Ike, just kind of like that one year with Ike. And I think you guys were down 0-2 or something like that, and you came oh, back two. in, oh, came two. back in one. Oh, so yeah. so we talk about that series. One, you know, number one seed, we had yeah. the home court advantage, and you know, in that time, still. Uh, for the great Alfonso Ford played for Olympiacos. Yeah. Uh, body rocker for uh, and all this dream team in Panathinaikos. And they had, we, we played, uh, I would like to you, I think, against Heraklis, mm -hmm. the semifinals. And uh, Olympiacos and Panathinaikos, we were lucky that, you know how lucky you are. Yeah. You don't meet Panathinaikos <laughs> or Olympiacos until the, the final. Yeah. 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 So they had uh, a fight, a physical fight between them and in the, some games, and we meet them in, uh, in the finals. We lost the home court advantage the first game. Mm -hmm. We lost the second game, and it's in best of five. So the coach said, the Shakos are like, let's play with the young, young guys, yeah. you know, Aka, full with half Olympiacos, half uh, Ajax staff, Ajax uh, supporters, and uh, we win that. Then we go to Olympiacos. They are ready for celebration and mm -hmm. everything. Full gym. We beat them there. And man, the atmosphere for a kid like me that heaven saw oh, yeah. all full, all yellow. Hey, it was 18,000 people on the feet. And I won against Olympiacos after 2-0 down, 3-2. And um, after 29 years, I think they win the championship title. Yeah. Because well, it was Heraklis or yeah. Pau or Aris. And all these teams. What was the celebration like? I know what was what was that 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 night like in? <laughs> Come on, man! You celebrate two Euro <laughs> and a championship title. You want me to talk about? Let me ask you: How was your celebration when we? <laughs> man, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember much. <laughs> exactly. No, I was the kid that was driving the cars. Yeah. You know, I, you know how you have to listen to the older guys. Yeah. The, 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 all this picture taking, you know. Uh, in the middle of the court. I didn't experience that in my life before yeah. that to win a championship with a team because I played one year with Robotnitschki. We mm -hmm. lost the cup and we lost the championship. And then I left immediately. So I didn't have some professional. I had the cadet, the juniors, the junior but guy. never the professional trophy. So it was for me like the kid. And then, hey, you drive us. I didn't know why, <laughs> but you have to listen. Yes, okay. <laughs> I drive. Let's go. <laughs> I was happy, you know, Mercedes, the Andrew Betts. Yeah. <laughs> Respect Andy from Denver. <laughs> uh, you know, drive Mercedes. I'm here. You don't even know Zastava or Warburg, you know, this Balkan car driving. Yeah. And he gave me Mercedes to drive. I said, I'll drive you to America if you want, man. I'm yeah. driving. You don't know how, how much I love cars. Luca, you here, man? Oh man, these are amazing stories. What about the Ike fans? Um, I know you guys talked about them so much, but original I never really, twenty one. Yeah, I never really got a chance to experience it, but I hear so many great stories about you know the Ike fans and the fanatics and you know how how crazy they were. There was guys hanging from the the, the backboard from the gym. Like talk you about know that. the fans in Greece, man. You know the fans, the fans in Greece. You know Ike fans were great. Uh, four years, great four years. I'm thankful for the support. You know the kids from. Macedonia to go to Greece when Greece was economically, you know, full, everything was working and uh, to give me the opportunity, you know, they have so many other kids from Greece yeah. and to decide to choose the, to put on side the dispute, you know, the governments that they have and all this, all this talk. I had one of the best, I count Greece as my second home. Yeah. You know, six years and the fans, so the support, all the, all the fanatics in a different way. You experience a lot that I will tell a story about how strong <laughs> Kyle Heinz is. You know, the cup game that me and Keshe was like, is this guy normal? You know, the people who are listening, you know, the fans, uh, the the cup in Greece is again Panathinaikos Olympiakos usually, and we play in a 
other arena that is not home court of Olympiakos or Panathinaikos and Mr. Karl Heinz go out like he's not final, like he's, you know, his confidence is, he's calm, the pressure, and the fans started to, to hit themselves with some fireworks. And there is a video, <laughs> it's good to edit this if you can. I'll, 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 some, yeah. some, like, uh, how, how you call that? Uh, it's like a flare. Like a, like flare, a flare. Yeah, a flare. And goes. a flare fly from one side of the court and hit Kyle here. Boom. <laughs> Directly, and Kyle go out, get up, come to the locker room, and they say, people, hey, Kyle Hans was hit. And we just get up, and you see Kyle Hans going to say, Kyle, you okay? What happened? Nothing. They just hit me in the head, but I'm okay. <laughs> Nothing yeah, can stop this I, guy. I, I tell people that story in the states, and they don't believe me. I'm like, like, like man. people always ask me, like, what's the, like the like what's the most craziest story you experienced in in playing European basketball? I'm like, man, first you have of all, to put this. You yeah, have to edit this. I, I I say this all the time. I say like this: the Olympiacos, Panathinaikos rivalries is is. But you know, also, you can you can. It's difficult to explain them with words. Yeah. The the energy that they give you, you know, this condition. I don't say that it's normal, but I like it, you know. Yeah. Like now you, you play in a high level, like for almost all your career. And, you know, it's difficult to play in front of the fans, for the fans. Yeah, we yeah. play for the club, for a professional, for the money. Yeah. But we need that, that that energy, that connection that is between fans and uh, and the, the, the players. When you, I mean, well, I would say when, when you play for like those type of clubs, like Olympiacos, Panathinaikos, yeah. Tyke, Red Star, so on, there so is no on. tiredness. You, there is no but you, tiredness. you're playing for the fans. Like when you're out there and the fans is cheering, like you're not playing for you know the money or the titles or even those are great. But you're really playing yeah, for the yeah, fans. Yeah, that moments you forget, yeah. you forget everything. But people you know that hey, it's easy for you professionals and everything. No, guys, I don't say that it's not you know the money and everything. You you working the job that yeah. you know people usually go just to practice. You're famous and everything, but this moment for me, it's always been special, you know. And I usually me and you play together yeah. because you know it was at six minutes in the first yeah, quarter, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, <laughs> and it was easy to play, you know, with all yeah. with your hands and strong, just pass with the ball or throw it out. <laughs> and just scouting report, Carl Heinz close right, and he will pass you right. Every, I mean, just to, everybody's been doing that for the last 14 years. Holy, holy, man, right and, the, and, you, and you still keep <laughs> giving buckets. I don't know, man. Uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, Vlado. Uh, Vlado makes fun of me all the time because I'm in practice and Mito. you know, yeah, meets off, and, I, and I'm practicing with my left hand. He was like, he was like, Bratton, why are you Bratton, practicing do. with your left hand? You, can, <laughs> you maybe shot two left hand shots your whole entire career, man. I remember, <laughs> I remember in Olympiacos. They you use like your thing, you know, from the post, uh, no, from the post, from the free throw line. Yeah. You will go clear. I go one on one. They close it. They close it. Then you keep going with the right, left, left, and you're gonna pass them on the right side. That's it. Damn, how you do it? Oh, you, you, still, you give away all my secrets, man. I still, I still got some more years to play. I know, man. You, I'm trying to make them that you don't say that you practice with the left hand. <laughs> hey, I would we're gonna make a fake scouting report, you know. You know, I make the career on the pump fake. Yeah, they yeah. say don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, and they jump on hey, the second one. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> you're gonna jump eventually. <laughs> yeah, do it right, it worked. <laughs> hey man, every 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 great player has their trademark. No I got you, a few times. you you got me up more than a few times, especially in practice. <laughs> man. Now, let, let's talk about 2011 Eurobasket. Um, oh, I think, you know, for you, that has to be a special moment for not only you, but I think for your whole entire country. So first of all, what was that experience like? And, you know, to 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 be able to I know you guys didn't medal, but I'm sure it felt like you guys medal just because you guys. Don't Man, really it was bigger than a medal. Yeah, exactly. It was bigger than a medal because, you know, uh, again, that build you up psycholo psychologically, everything yeah. is in your head. You know, we was used to to go to the Eurobasket, win maybe one game, and you get used to it. Uh, I don't know how to say you, you can understand me. Oh, okay, we can uh, I always like challenges. I always yeah. accept them. I always do it the right way. But Eurobasket, always I was at one. We had one win, two wins. And then the, this comes, the second, my second Eurobasket. Let's go to make three wins. Yeah. <laughs> but we was the first game, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like to read comments, you know. We, we go, we, we have the best, like in Olympiacos, you know, that 
all these players, but we had the best chemistry, you know. Yeah. Laugh, stay, we'll come one hour early, go to dinner together. And this is the thing that if any team have this, the results are for sure. Yeah. But this Eurobasket was one of the best Eurobaskets in a long time. All the mm. NBA stars played from the Tony Parker, Gasol brother, Ibaka. Yeah. I, we can stay all night if we talk about the names. And after the first game, we, we we get around all the all the press, all the equipment guy, from equipment guy to the president. We stay in one room, laugh, maybe drink one beer, two beers, <laughs> cut this or beep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we talk. And uh, I like to read them, but it doesn't piss me off. It gives me more energy. I like yeah, to motivation. read this stuff to boost. Because I get angry when they stop to playing. The imagination, when their imagination stops, because everybody in this time is coach. Everybody is specialist about everything because the computer allowed them. Yeah. And this is their job, you know. They, that's why everything has certain price. The, you're popular and everything, you have, you have to go with it, you know. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of other stuff that come with. So in the Eurobasket, after the first game, everybody attack us. This is how Balkan is, you know. Hey, you, these guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. they will come back. And then we decided, you know, hey, we don't care. Let's play for us. Hey, yeah. let's not that we let's play for us. Let's don't bother about anything. Let's just concentrate on the court. When we are on the court, we're gonna die for each other. When we are out, we're gonna enjoy each other. Enjoy it all, all together, you know. So we win second game. Croatia, Russia. Then come Greece, Spanulis. Brate, <laughs> I always against Lucas because yeah. Manolis say never, I never lose from you. Oh, <laughs> oh. and then he said I, did, I didn't play. <laughs> and uh, we we start to winning, and hey, it was the the happiness that we we see. You know, we were happy. You know, I went there for 124 kilos when I came to Olympiakos, and I had 107 kilograms. Yeah. You know, I lost. A lot, and uh, when we lost, uh, the the emotions, you know, you I felt it at the end when we lost against Russia for the bronze medal. Like, damn, <laughs> it finished 20, 21 days. I think, uh, damn, and now I feel I felt it, you know, well, what we did, you know, again, yeah. you want the medal regardless, you had two wins before, and now you play for the bronze medal, and we we could go finals against Spain, but. Navarro went crazy and respect for him, but it's just you. We went with the flow, we, we went believing in ourselves, and we not we had like five players that people maybe know, yeah, at that time, always domestic players and everything. But I will always say, the uh, in a team, you need a great chemistry and soldiers, yeah, like you. I, I was shooter, you were defender, you know, now you're a shooter, I'm retired, so you know how. <laughs> <laughs> I got a funny story about that uh, later. I'll tell you. Yes. I'll tell you about that. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So nah. I'm telling you, uh, I will put it as one of the best, you know, emotional. Yeah. The thing is that 2011 that we proved because you know we have multi-ethnic uh, country. Country. Yeah. Uh, politics is in, in everything, but at that time there was no religion. There was no political party at the square, like a hundred thousand people waiting for us, the political party that are killing themselves, you know, everybody was they're friends. Happy, they are happy. Yeah. This is the thing that this is the thing that no money can buy the, the feeling, the experience, the you know, that emotions, that feelings is you have you have won it a lot, you know. You have yeah, but I, mean, I, I would I would imagine like that would be totally different because like for for your like your your the group of players is almost like a pioneer. You guys are pioneers yeah. because you guys never experienced that before. And to see no nope. obviously like your country we didn't you said, expect has, it. Yeah, it didn't expect it. Your country has been like, you know, there's so many different things and so many different things that always go on, you know, about different things, political issues, stuff like that. But to see, you know, everybody come together because of basketball, because That's of how right, you guys but... do, it has to be Unbelievable, that's, man. that's priceless, you know, to see that you can bring with something healthy sports uh, to represent a country is something that no money can buy, you know. Yeah. You play it with all your heart and uh, it's experience that I always talk. He always asks me, my son asks me like about those. 
he thinks that he's always asking me about dunks. Did yeah. you see how this guy dunked? This guy, this, <laughs> this guy, that. You know, I tell him, you know, that's all good, but you know, there is certain process to get to there. Yeah. It, I know it look easy, yeah. but it you have to get takes to the process. A, little, a lot of sacrifices, a lot yeah. of a lot of work. Now, do you do you think that helped you individually legitimize you as a player? Um, you know, the way people looked at you, the way people kind of respected you, you know, because of your after 2011. Work. Yeah. Uh, after 2011, uh, everything changed. You know, uh, if you and, lot, by the way, if you to Mishko, to Mishko yeah, that's what I'll say. If you if, if you talk to our agent Misko, he says that the day you signed with him, he said he changed your life. That's what he says. That's what he yeah. says. Those are his that's words. That's what he says. <laughs> yes, that's, that's what, what I say. <laughs> Misko, I know you're gonna watch this. Ten percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I met I met with Misko. That's that's an agent that. Uh, I agree with him after 10 seconds of the of the talking, you know. Yeah. I have huge respect for those kind of things that he's direct. He tell me, I tell him what I need because I was like the bad boy. Yeah. I played great and everything, but I had the luggage that he's bad. You know, now the coaches are calling between themselves hey, how he's in the locker room. Is he going to destroy my chemistry in the team? So all this package have to be. And I'm, you know, I'm... And I don't say that I'm, I wasn't like a bad boy, but I, in the chemistry way, in the team way, I, I would die for my team. Yeah, but amazing. coaches have to to see that. Yeah. So I had a lot of offers. 2011, you know, everybody wants you after the Euro basket. But if you go, if do the Ifkovic or Zetko Bradovic, there is a lot of other names, but I talk about the Balkan. Yeah. You, you pass one year. That, those luggage are... It's gone. Thrown. They, they, yeah. They're forgotten. So, yeah. and it was the right decision. Mish could tell me, hey, you want to go there? No. You want to go there? No. I have these options because of this. He explained, you know, I, I want to do that. I met you. I want championship mm -hmm. title. What else to say? Free disease. I mean, it <laughs> you was know, a, a great decision. Man. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely great. But before we talk about Olympiacos, I got to ask yeah. you about uh, one player that I feel like doesn't get the the credit that he deserves. Oh, um, I, I, uh, I can I can guess. I'm, well, I, Bo McCallum. Oh. I, I, I want I want to ask you about Bo because Bo was even now like people don't talk about him as much. But I, I forget I I feel like people don't know how like people talk about obviously just great guards today Mike James Shane Larkin you know all these guys but. I mean, I feel like Bo was like ahead of his years, ahead of his time. Like that, that period he had between like, you know, Partizan to when he played with you guys to the Siena days. Like talk about like how good Bo was and, and, and just like. First, I will tell you his name and surname in Macedonian, Borce Mekalebovski. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, we always yeah, yeah. ski. Yeah, yeah. uh, when Bo came, Bo was, uh, let's say, the to keep everything for himself. And yeah. I, rem I remember when, when he came, I had a birthday party in my uh, house and he sits on the side. He's like, hey guys, thank you for accepting me as a family yeah. and everything, you know. He felt how we treat him. We say, hey, I don't care you from America or everywhere. <laughs> you are our brother, our family, you know, we die together. And Bo, you know, you see after 2011, he, his boosts in the career, yeah. how he went. And uh, I don't know if you know, but this year, for sure you know, it's 10 years from that yeah. Eurobasket, so yeah. we're going to make, he will come here. Oh. He has four rewards to take, you know, oh, he was man. basketball player, man of the year yeah. in 2011 and all these uh, trophies, you know. I'm in contact with him. A lot of times we go Instagram live yeah. together, you know, he's my brother and he always be one of the special person that he played for Macedonia like like he's born here like keep, yeah. it, you know and this this thing that he felt how is it people to love you to to respect you because some players haven't uh, experienced that mm -hmm. in that kind of way he was he, he was a god if he went for prime minister at that time he would yeah. win prime minister <laughs> he will for sure <laughs> he will be the first us you as person to be prime minister of Macedonia. I always, I always felt like I was like, like Bo is probably living in Macedonia somewhere right now, just like you know. Oh, <laughs> oh I he like he like Belgrade. He yeah, yeah, I know. You know, I know. Belgrade, Macedonia. He never yeah, forget. You know, yeah. but the 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 energy the that he gave us, he he the, he's calm and uh, 
off the court, on the court, it's rare to find that kind of players, you know. Yeah, I, 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 will, I, I will. I will say I, I talked in uh, same situation now with Jacob Wiley, yeah. who played for our national team. Mm -hmm. I explained him. He was so excited that he would play for a national team. And this is, you know, you know from experience, rarely to find players. He will get the passport to help, but he will look for the passport just to, for his financial things, yeah. and, uh, his financial growth in the, his career. But uh, this guy, Jacob, oh, he was, I don't know what, how to explain you, like more emotions than anybody, you know. <laughs> He's happy. He, yeah. he felt like a part of something, you know, and this is the big thing. For me, that's when I feel that I'm a part of a group, that we are one, as one, and I will, I don't know, I will die. Yeah, man, I, I, I remember that, that 2011, and I was, you know, we were watching it, you know, with the with the other guys there, and I remember watching it. Yeah, you signed it. already. I yeah, had to yeah. prove myself to yeah, sign the I, Women Olympiad. And I, was, I, was, I mean, I was happy, and I was excited once we found out that we, I didn't know you. And I, I just, know to go with the left hand also. Yeah. I just knew and it was work ten times I just knew it was this bald headed guy with uh, <clears throat> a bunch of tattoos. <laughs> that, hey, that, you know that, shot is, that shot is set that? shot three. I was like, yo, this guy is amazing. Like, I don't Man. know how he does this. Hey, because I don't jump on the shot. <laughs> I went and I here if you don't jump, I should. I remember with first practice when I meet you, you know how when you play all summer, they give you free. Yeah. We were in the small team, if you remember Olympiacos. And Duda come and tell me. My friend, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you you will not practice a lot. You know we're gonna go full cold press, but you will not be. You will you will little minutes and you go out. And four position me and you. You know we yeah. change. Always is the guy who pressure full cold, and I'm on the court and he say, "Pero press," <laughs> and I tell him, "But you just told me that <laughs> I didn't say this. You know yeah. you cannot say to do no, that." No, 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 no. and I press. He said, press harder. I said, God damn it, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> my first practice. What I to respect. <laughs> it's my first practice. You just told me that I will not press. Hey, he said it. You know how we, we did it. It's incredible, man. Now, you talk about signing to Olympiaco. So what did that mean for you? And then did that, I mean, I don't know if any of us expected it. Um, but, you know, when you walked in those first couple of weeks, did you expect for us to be a EuroLeague champion? Like, I don't think, no, yeah, I don't think no, anybody expected it. But no. it's... Hey, no, for, and you know that that year, the EuroLeague, uh, they say, hey, you broke the system, you know, yeah, we did. the budget, <laughs> we cut the budget, everybody <laughs> we went up 40 million budget, yeah. and we won it. But uh, uh, how, how to say it, you know, I didn't expect that I will sign in Olympiacos. I was mm -hmm. in Russia. Then you don't know how the Eurobasket will go. It went how it went. And with all the offers, I choose first to go to Olympiacos in four years in I, You know, Olympiacos, Glifada, by the sea, to the good, good restaurants. Not bad lifestyle. And all, all these four years, yeah. I went from, Gal <laughs> from Galaxy to drive all the way over there just to sit a little bit, then come back. And now mm -hmm. I had a chance. And all these four years... I listen to all these the houses that they get <laughs> and everything. <laughs> I had luck and I'm proud. Uh, I, I wanted to play Olympiacos a lot, a lot. Yeah. These four years that I played, first, where is it? Euroleague, big name and everything like that. But then we came and how they say, <laughs> the budget went down. And we won the Euroleague, you know. But uh, to be coached by Duda, I went first of all just to to learn a lot, to go on the height because I went Euroleague, Europe Cup. I was like the second MVP in Europe Cup. Then I go FIBA, yeah. like the third. And I wanted to come back to the elite, you know. So you have to cut a little bit on the money thing and uh, to choose smart. And I had I had big luck that I had Mishko at the time. Yeah, I mean, your so father. Father, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, Misko, Misko definitely, uh, definitely looked out, looked out for us during that time. Um, so what, what was it about? I mean, I know, but just from your opinion, what was it about that team that uh, that was able for us to to win back to back titles? Is there uh, something? Man, just think? look the look the look the look the last seconds when Prindes is score. Yeah. And when you run and hit the ball and you look the bench, yeah. you know how was it. The, 
because the team, regardless names or leader, we had Spanulis, a lot of young guys, Lucas, Manjaris, you know, experienced guy, Papadopoulos, mm -hmm. Keshe, uh, uh, <laughs> Marty. <laughs> Shout out, Marco. You know, <laughs> the, he, he will talk a lot of trash for this. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had uh, the lab, we, we, we were hanging out off the court, on the court, you remember? All the time. Somebody house, go to the yeah. movies, go to the restaurant. I, I don't remember that it was that it wasn't even one day that we didn't talk after lunch or the, hey, we go Fridays, yeah. Applebee's, A Applebee's. We go <laughs> La Pasteria. Yeah. What? Man, it, because we were we were supporting each other. We was we had up and downs, we argue a lot, but this was in a good way argument, you know, we understand each other. Yeah. I know I, I know how I know to be pain in the ass a few times, even you. Pair, nobody can piss off Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so when I piss him off one time, he said, hey, Pero, what, stop talking, man. You just play. I said, damn, I crossed the line big time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I mean, I, I think I, I, to me, like that was those two years, that two year period was probably the funnest time I've had playing basketball because I mean, even though we won a lot, but I think we weren't expected to win. So we didn't have that pressure. And also none of us were really big names, like besides, obviously besides Spanulis, um, but nobody else was really like, you know, a big name. Like when you with the yes, defender, yes, exactly. you, with the defender, you came back from me. Yeah, like it was like a, like a guy like a player who wants something big, except Billy, you know, and Princesses who play a lot over there. But we're like, let's say the new, the new, the new team, yeah, the new generation. generation. Uh, <clears throat> only, but you 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 have to agree with me. The first year, okay, we didn't have pressure. Yeah, there was also luck on our side, but the luck go behind the brave people. Sishkauskas, 80 something, 9% free throws, all career to be yeah. two at the end. Brindazis uh, is not like people, just to <laughs> say this, because <laughs> he's pissing us off because every day before practice, he comes half hour and practice this shot. He practiced three points with this half and everything. He, this is his shot, you know, yeah. this is his shot. Yeah. But the second year, we was, I, I know that it's, it's, uh, it's a fact. We were like offended. You remember what all Europe was saying? Yeah. Okay, they win by luck. They do this. They do blah blah blah. You remember CSK was talking a lot of trash before the final four. Like we're gonna boot, we're gonna kick their ass and yeah. whatever. You remember the first game against CSK? I, I watched from few times from time to time some highlights of those games or put the whole game. We were <laughs> destroying them and yeah. CSK in our time these two years in Olympiacos was unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable they're unbelievable now but they were yeah. un unbelievable so we beat them like 20 points i don't know how much was and then real madrid the comeback you remember us we, we go in the six minutes yeah we're down uh 19 when we started it's easy to play with kyle throw him, i would say throw him the ball everywhere I I, I remember the the high low pass. I threw the high low pass to you. You made the yeah, dunk. Yeah. Oh, that's what. <laughs> hey, when I when I dunk, yeah. I, I said, "Well, you know how difficult it is for a white man, old man, <laughs> with you for his back, man. You can imagine man, what you did to me." But man. I was acting like it's nothing because I dunked. The white yeah. man can jump. Man, I, I you I mean, you you said it that year. I think like we were all like I think we were because we started off the year bad. I think we we lost like our first. Yes, very bad four games or something like that in EuroLeague or something like that. But I think Brajokas made a couple of changes. And once he made those changes, um, like we just kind of just took off. And, you know, it was, you know, it was like, I think for us, it was more like we wanted to prove everybody that like we, it wasn't luck. Like, I, it know, wasn't we were, by and, accident. The yeah, it first wasn't by year. accident. Like we were in, I mean, and we did it. We, we accomplished it, man. It was, it was unbelievable. Man, to, you remember Panathinaikos, uh, Olympiakos? Won the last championship uh, with Duda. Yeah. Euroleague and, and, Greek, yeah. and Greek. Yeah. So uh, that was for me, you know, Romeo, you remember? Yeah. <laughs> I was... the, it was unbelievable because the, the two, two trophies sit in front of us. We're watching them. And that's when you realize, hey, what the hell we did? Yeah. Like what we... the hell we did, man? Yeah. What the hell we did? I still like. I still feel like we don't really. All of us really didn't really get an opportunity to really understand what we accomplished, even when we went back to back because we had lost the um, 
the series in Pantanacos because we were we were partying. Yes. I mean, we were partying too much. <laughs> we were going going out too much. <laughs> Hey man, I, it... I don't know you. All right, no, you know, you know. Uh, my bad. I <laughs> you... sleep. I sleep. All my career people. I, you're you're, I you're retired now, man. I... You can you can tell the people the truth, man. We we were we were. Uh, I, I would... <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. Hey, you know who's gonna talk a lot of trash about True. this, and I'm not gonna say hi or shout out. Gigi. Shave his beard, please, Gigi. for me, man. <laughs> Gigi the Tome, I fix his life with his new hairstyle. <laughs> he need to change a little bit his beard style. Well, yeah, we'll we'll talk and about that. And he will that continue too. to grow. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah, man. That, but the, I think yeah. I think I think because we didn't uh we didn't um we didn't win that series, I feel like we never got a real opportunity to celebrate the things that we accomplished together. No, you know, as a team. Um, and I think you know it was just we always I think the 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 question I always ask, and I ask this to AC, you know, if that team would have stayed together, obviously you went, you know, you went to the NBA, I went to Cheska, you know, so on and so on. How many titles do you think that team could have won? Uh, for sure, we're going to win. Yeah. For sure, it's going to be maybe not the next year. You know, that always is ups and downs. Yeah. And uh, But I think that, that team, the chemistry that we had, uh, everybody know the role. Nobody was jealous if one day... I don't shoot. We yeah. we enjoyed playing together, and I think this is a rare thing in today's basketball to have this kind of chemistry, you know. And uh, I think for sure we we could want some more. But you started. You went to CSK, and we all, everybody was here to find some job. I mean, you know, that's okay. why we left. So, so that's what we're going to talk. <laughs> you and, and you, I went to CSK, but you went to the Atlanta Hawks. So I think you. you man, you I didn't out. know that the taxes were so bad, man. I didn't know, man. You don't have taxes. They pay you taxes here, man. <laughs> if I knew that, if I knew that, I was... that's it. <laughs> man, when they tell me Shelby Mack, who plays in Panathinaikos yeah. now, yeah, he tell me, he tell me, hey, bro, don't be surprised about the first paycheck. I don't know how you know because I know, you know, now yeah. in Europe they divide it by ten, ten months. <laughs> here they divide it by twenty-four. Yeah, every fifth and every thirtieth. And when the first paycheck comes. I know what I signed for. I'm like, Mishko, Mishko, what is this? Barrow, there is taxes for this. There is tax return for this. Okay, Mishko. Second, two weeks later. Mishko, what is this, man? I played 2005 for this money, man. <laughs> I went to Olympiacos with two Euro leagues. I was expecting to be paid. Barrow, the money will come. Eventually. <laughs> so how, 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 how was it? <clears throat> how was it in Atlanta for you? Um, how much did you enjoy that experience? Like, or how difficult was the transition coming in? Because, I mean, you were an older rookie, I guess you could say. You were yeah. 30, if correct. Man. So how was it? What it did, did, did they make you, uh, did, they, did they do any rookie hazing? No. Did they make you pack any bags? No. Or... <laughs> I, I had a pressure about that. You know me, you know, name, who are you or whatever, but you're yeah. new in UMG. And uh, I was, I was, you know, that I would respond, you know, no chance to carry baby or to buy you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. A Krispy Kreme? <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, uh, the first day we went to Atlanta, to, to uh, Athens in yeah. Georgia, mm -hmm. to preparation. And, uh, you know, I didn't know how it's, the, the bags will come, the, all these good things that go when you play in the NBA. And I see another bag in the, in the room. Everybody say, I called the equipment guy. Zach, Zach, what is this? Hey, you have to share the equipment, you know, to put the loop on the on the door. door yeah. handle. I said, man, the bag is outside. <laughs> I'm doing this stuff. And I'm too old. And then, you know, we had a lot of a lot of great legends, you know, in the team. Lou Williams, yeah. uh, uh, Elton Brand, yeah. Al Harford, DeMarco, Paul Milsa. They're still playing through a lot of them. So somebody said, uh, Pero, you, Pero will help with this. And I just look like this in the locker room and I'll, hey, I got Pero, man. Pero is mine. Yeah. And I look out like, what the hell? You, who am I? He said, he do this way. <laughs> brate, brate. <laughs> you know, that, that's like he, he's mine. I'm like, okay, I, not to, nobody to touch me or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was one of the reasons that I went to, to Atlanta. Really? I'll I'll talk to Bud because we played we played the qualification against Dominican Republic. Okay, that makes uh, sense. In Venezuela, Caracas yeah. for the Olympic Games, and when we play against Dominican, 
Al, who will watch this for sure, when I will share it, <laughs> both Bo dunk, hey, Al, both dunk in your face like a go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I, I had bad game and I was yelling to Al, stop protecting this guy and everything. You know, when somebody's better, is better. But you don't want to admit. <laughs> so when we came there, I didn't. At least I expect that he would say, "Hey, bring this white ball head guy." Yeah. In Atlanta, he's the let's say franchise player. Yeah. And oh, when I cool. came there, all these guys again we built such a great chemistry. Me and Elton Brand like the OGs. Yeah. And I we were sitting on the side of the bench, relaxing, and we <laughs> we, we invented this trust the system. <laughs> and we sit yeah. because we didn't play a lot, you know, yeah. maybe at all but we drink three get rain watching the game from the first row and everybody who come to what comes at the end they say no no trust the system stay there this is for the old jeans you know like and we sit there and there was shirts they started the logo trust the system trust yeah, yeah. the system oh, that's dope. The, uh, the fans started full gym before it was a full gym they yeah. didn't go after first round you know in playoff didn't pass we go to these conference finals, finals. and then all got injured Man, this was the pressure. When Bud, Coach Bud, one of the great, great coaches that I had, great guy, great friend, he say, I'll, I'll get his uh, injury with the shoulder. Yeah. And suddenly, Bud, we, we need to play against uh, against Golden State, I think. Mm -hmm. Or Indiana was my first. And he said, Pero, you, you will start. I go, <laughs> me, why? I ask you why, man. I ask you why. Like, hey, Al is 26 million players, man. Yeah. Big one guy. And this, this guy. Like, that was pressure. Like, me? Oh, damn, man. He be, oh, oh, old man will cook. <laughs> and I started, and the first shot I shoot, it went in. And, you know, it built the psychologist. Hey, yeah. I can do it. And you have done it throughout the career, win big titles. But again, this pressure that we built, we made for by ourselves, you know, it, to help us a little bit. And I scored 18 or 16 points. Yeah, and I that remember. month, I started, started, I was like, like better than Europe, you know. Oh, we play who? Chicago Bulls? Okay, we go. go. <laughs> like it's normal to be starting five now, you know, like 6 11 from Skopje, Macedonia. Yeah. And I go out with the kids. I say, man, you old for <laughs> don't ask. You know, to dance and and then they say they choose me to All Star game. Yeah, how like, how was what? yeah, how was that? Star? Yeah, how was how was yeah, that? I'm, like, I'm falling down, man. What rising star? <laughs> <laughs> it was ex incredible experience to you meet Gary Payton, Charles Barkley. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon, uh, so many legends retired. This party, the famous people. It was new experience for me. And I'm glad that I represent the country because there was eight flags when the U.S. national anthem was sing, and uh, to see our flag for small country, small country boy came and uh, he's on all star game and all the world watching. It's a big time. Wow, man, that's that's, that's incredible. Like so, and and I know the the fans in Atlanta and especially some fans that you went you know worldwide were you know embracing you. So, you know, what was that like yes, you know, to, see the, to see the Macedonia flag and to see that, you know, you know, in, in, in so many different NBA arenas? Did you ever expect that? Man, there is a lot of people that went to look for better conditions for their family and they find their way in, in the U.S., Canada. Yeah. And I'm happy for them. And the support was incredible. Like a lot of the teammates, you know, they say pero maestro. Like we say brate, brate means brother. Yeah. Maestro is... When you say Meister is like the great guy, but Meister basically is the guy who fixed around the house, you know, yeah. <laughs> clean and everything. <laughs> and they come behind the bench, Pero Meister, and the players are like this, and the security get out. <laughs> Pero, what is Meister? They tell me. I'm like, how to explain you this? What is Meister? You know, it's some Balkan thing, you know. So we started, you know, they start. We had a Macedonian Heritage Night in, in Canada, in really? play against Toronto. And you know, 1,500 people, the whole sections. And suddenly we go, I go in the locker room and the halftime, and we, and I heard this is like a dance, like Buzuki, you remember? Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. is some hour dance. And the song, I remember the song, I went out and I see them in old fashioned clothes, they're dancing our songs, Macedonian songs. And oh, I'm like, yeah. how great are some people like in US, in Canada, that they respect 
religions, they speak uh, cultures, and they embrace it. Like to ask to be Macedonian Heritage Night to have some dance, and it's in US. They mm -hmm. allowed it, you know, and I'm happy. And after the game, the security is like this with me, <laughs> and I'm going into the fans. You know how we are. We run. Yeah. You run to the yeah. fans. Everything. I know it's for the security. I say, hey, man. They will not do anything to me. They will do more to you. If, if <laughs> These are my people. people. <laughs> yeah, my people. So take the microphone, talk to them, uh, tell them that you're thankful for the support because this is the thing that we play about. Yeah, that's incredible, man. That's a, that has to be incredible. I remember yeah. when I seen that and even when my uh, my wife went to But you tell know, me, she... you were surprised when you see me in NBA dunking, man. No, actually, I, mean, oh. I, knew, I knew you could I knew you could play in the NBA, man. I knew it. I knew it. I was, I was, I was surprised. I know, but I passed two times. Yeah, I was, I was, I was surprised. They like, offered, but the third time. Yeah, I mean, you had to sorry, go. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm saying you had to go. I mean, no, the third time I wanted to go, I didn't want to be like the people, you know, when we get old and sit, hey, sit I had chance to be better than Kyle, <laughs> but I didn't go there, man. <laughs> man, I don't like that. If you had a chance, go, accept the go. challenge, man. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me show you the hour two. Yeah, yeah, please. Look at this one, look at the trophies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't go there, man. What are you? So, what are you most most proud about your dad, and how was it like having? I don't know if you have both of them because I think you broke one. These two, I win with this Ooh, guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> you remember? I think you broke one of them. I did break one. I think I think we were in the locker room. I think it's the first one. The, yeah, first the first one. one, and we I think we were in the locker room celebrating. I think I kicked it, <laughs> and, you, and, like and his face was like this. This is the European trophy, and he's broken like this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's why I put it like this. This is yeah. Istanbul, the first one, and you remember the best one, London. London, yeah, man, those are those are those are good. You know that time. I never think I, I saw this in Russia. In my in the house of my dear friend Vladimir Dichok, working yeah. for the Russian Federation, and they had the old trophy. He won it with CSK. Yeah, and I was jealous, serious. Like, damn, I play FIBA. Look, this guy have Euroleague. Like, I was jealous and nervous and happy for you when, uh, let's say, we gave you the Berlin trophy. Gave us. Jealous, serious. We was up by I was 20. I'm, I was happy at the same time. You know how yeah. much I respect you. The yeah. I treat like a brother, like, yeah. like family. And uh, But you had three EuroLeague. I was, and I, mean, I had I, two. I was, I, I was, had two. I said, and I, I was, put myself challenge to have the same three, three EuroLeagues to have at least, you know, like in a positive way. Yeah. I know that I, I want to have 10 more too. But the challenge that I don't want to feel, that thing, because there's, the last four times that I won, three times that I won, four times I play final. And I felt how painful it is to lose. The, when you put the hat, yeah. you put the cigarette, yeah. and here I am sitting in the corner with a towel, yeah. you know, you came, we talked, I, I tell you, hey, man, I'm happy. But I was happy and I was not happy. I mean, that's the, that's, still you're not alive. <laughs> that's the, that's like the hardest experience. Like, cause I mean, when we won the first two years, we won in Olympiacos. I was like, oh man, this is, this is kind of easy. This is, yeah, we, we, we were winning every year. And then when we lost the 2014 in Milan, um, and I see my, our, our, my guy, Ricky Hickman, when he won, I was like, you know, Ricky's my best friend, but the same, I was jealous. Man, I, like, I man. want to have the same. Yeah, Why exactly. You have in a positive way. Exactly. Exactly. So, the, I mean, you, you talked about it. Talk about Fenerbahce. You know, you you signed the Fenerbahce, and I mean, and you have this great group of guys. You know, you reunite with Salukas, but then it's also Gigi. It's also I talked to Bodon. It's you know Jan. It's Bogey. you know, um, you know all these guys, man. So you know, talk about that experience. You know, going to Fenerbahce, going to Istanbul, and being part of that that first group that that after so many tries and like you said, we lost in Berlin. You know, winning the Euro League in Istanbul. Talk about that. I came. Uh, I I came to only to Fenerbahce. I wanted to always seriously to be coached by Jelko Bradovic. Yeah. I admire him throughout the, his career. I play against him. But uh, I always wanted to be coached by him. And I wanted to go back to EuroLeague to win a EuroLeague. I will tell you one story that probably you don't know. And Mishko, Mishko will be mad <laughs> because I, I put details from the contract. I refused maybe triple more financial, bigger offer in US in to stay in NBA. Uh, really? Instead, the one that I took from Fenerbahce. Really? 
maybe if I stayed in NBA, I will stay. I will still be in NBA. But I put in the contract. I wanted to come back, and uh, there is a proof for this. This yeah. is my contract. You know that not even one Euro, uh, Turkish team went to the finals. Yeah. Before that, and uh, I put in the contract for the two plus one year contract I had and the third year you know always the biggest and they put you a certain amount of money yeah. and if we don't want you we're going to pay you this I say erase this and we should say what? <laughs> erase the money I don't want the money <laughs> I want to you to put that in the first two years if I win EuroLeague mm-hmm. not to go to the final my third year is guaranteed I came here to win EuroLeague and the vice president Ozan Balaban my dear friend he said Brought the respect of this. <laughs> I hope you bring, not that I brought, we brought as a team, but I came yeah. with the challenge. You know, I wanted to win third Euro League. You know, that. And again, I would not say that exactly you. I want to be, be, be to have three like you. We started. Yeah. We win one together. We win two together. You you took my third one. I said, <laughs> man, I I want to take one from Kyle Hines now. So I came for that, and that's how it happens. You know. Did, did it feel that, that, that is in my contract I put? I mean that that's a that's a bold, a very bold and but yet very confident move. Did the did the third year league feel any different than the first two? I loved it because I wanted to. I told you like a challenge, like a goal. Yeah. Because uh, there is certain you also people that have participate or won in a. Uh, one Euro League in, in my country, but I wanted to be the one with the most. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is also uh, why I came back. I wanted to to accept any challenge, be coached by your brother, which go in a great, great club with uh, all these like NBA, you know, conditions yeah. that it had, and coached by Jelko Bradovic. It was incredible, and all these players to say Bogdan, my roommate. Man, this guy, I love him to death, but this guy is obsessed with basketball, man. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up at three o'clock, four o'clock, man, go to sleep. We have finals <laughs> tomorrow game to play. Wait, wait, Golden State is playing. I need to watch. This guy stay after practice. All these shots that you watch from Bogdan, half court, buzzer beater, this guy stay after the, after the practice and shoot and shoot and practice them. I said, man, let's go eat. 300 more shots. Man, I will starve to death, man. <laughs> Come on, old guy. <laughs> you know, young. Uh, I just re- I, I, I regret that I didn't learn Turkish. Yeah. Everywhere I learned, but co- coaching stuff, a lot of Serbs. Everybody, yeah. Uh, everybody a lot of Serbs, a lot of Americans in the team. Even, even your teammates, Vesely's, too. Vesely's Czech. Vesely yeah. don't speak Czech. You know, he speaks Serbian, Serbian. Like, like he's born there. Yeah, but great experience, you know. The Turkish fans, oh my God, you know, uh, in a different way. Everybody have different place in my heart, but they, they, the support that they give you, in a different kind of way, you know, in a good, good, in a win or in a loss, they are behind you, you know. They support you, they lift you up, they cry with you. We lost, yeah. you remember? They were crying, you know. This also kill you like a player, you know. Hey, these people cry, and you could bring them. You know, happiness, and now they cry. You put that as a pressure, also. Like, like we talked about before earlier in the podcast, you yeah. you play for the fans. Like that's that's exactly, exactly what it is, man. You you play play for the fans. Do you have a don't, before, speak, do you, don't speak? Hey, he falls. He falls. Oh man, man. It's, 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 no, look, man, look. These are these are good stories, man. These are good stories, man. <laughs> Do you, I will do tell you, him the details, the more details. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you'll hear the the, uh, the off the air version <laughs> of some of this stuff. <laughs> yes. Do you Bob, do you have a do you have a funny Gigi Jatome story? Oh man, this guy. <laughs> we sit next to each other. He's one of the let's hope people from Milan or from Italy don't get angry for me because you don't know Gigi. You know? He's like the good guy. He reads books, he don't spend money, and he have hundreds of million I hope he have hundreds more he have hotel he promised me that he will invite me to the hotel for free even I offered to pay him something but he didn't accept nothing we're still waiting for the offer <laughs> but the, the, the funny story is that you know we go to dinner 
and you know how Italians speak Italian, you know, I go, his mother, his father, his brother, yeah. great group of guys, great, great family. And they will start to speak Italian and they start to laugh. Ha ha ha. And I laugh, you know, because they love Italian. I don't understand. And I tell Gigi had this broom, I call it <laughs> like a broom and uh, the beard was all mess messy you know you see now he has the lines yeah, yeah, yeah. very sophisticated like this, now. and he's more aerodynamic yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and i tell him before the start of the second year we agree that uh, if we win euroleague mm -hmm. that i will cut his ponytail that if we lose i shave my beard <laughs> Man, you can. I shaved the beard two, two, three times in these 20 years. I cannot recognize myself, you know. When you, <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, I put glasses, the hairs, and everything. I can't wait to, to grow. And we win, we win, we win the third Euro League, and everybody's celebrating. Yeah. I went to the stands, get Luca to come to I feel remember. this energy to get the trophy. Again, it's Euro League trophy, it's not everyday thing. And I tell the physio, you, you know me, that I yeah. never forget. You know, where we, and I say, give me the scissors, you know. And I put them here. <laughs> and I say, Gigi, come. And Gigi, oh, no, 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 come. So he catch and he's pulling. He's going up. I say, man, don't go up. I will cut uh, you. I cut the whole and my, my head is slippery. And all the fans <laughs> was yelling. They go, Ay, de perro. Man, pressure, more pressure than the final four. <laughs> I got it, man. And I go, yeah, like, I'm more happy for this than the trophy, the, the trophy. Euroleague trophy, man. And you see how Gigi, the Dominic's career changed. <laughs> just, That's just, Gigi, just I expect 10%. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, so... I'm, 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 I'm getting paid for everything. A, a, lot, a, lot, <laughs> a lot of people owe you money. That's what you basically say. <laughs> <laughs> for what? For the ten percent, you, you got to get the ten percent. Man, I, I just say it, but nobody come. Yeah, nobody send me. I send you. You owe me from two thousand eleven. Hey man, I'll, people, I'll please you, help me. I'll, 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 I'll you quite a lot, man. I'll you quite a no, lot. No man, the friendship that we have, the it's enough. It's yeah. enough. And your family, Tyler. Can't wait to see them, man. Father, yeah, mother, man. great. Man, you, 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 re so you retired. And, um, you know, so what, what has retirement life like been for you? Obviously, you know, you see on Instagram, you get a chance to spend more time with your boys. Um, I know you're the, the president of the, of the basketball association, but you know, how much do you miss basketball and, you know, what are you, what are you doing now in, in your, in your retirement, in your, in your old age now? Man, don't offend me, man. I'm too young. <laughs> if I don't have hair, just stop it. Uh, like you say, man, I have more time to spend with my my little three prints, as yeah. I call them. Yeah. My boys, Luke is not even little anymore. I cannot accept that. You know, he's almost until here. I'm proud to spend time with them, but I miss it so much. I'm in basketball, still in basketball as a president. Have to organize mm -hmm. everything. Uh, we are living now in a certain situation with this COVID, mm -hmm. COVID virus, but we have to accept it and find the best solution about that, the condition and the health of the players, about the league. But it's totally different. You know, I, I'm learning to wake up every day. My body is waking up, you know, yeah. uh, to be dynamic, to, to, to fight, uh, to, to play basketball, to spend energy. It's totally different, you know. I'm not the guy who sits. Even when I go to work, I sit on to write and then I walk around. You know, <laughs> I want to play, you know. Yeah. Like yesterday we go to watch a game, A1 division. After the game, we stay to shoot with this with my son. Yeah. And I want to win him. I I I'm he, let, let him tell you, man. Yeah, I'm no, not no. like the father that will let like people say, Hey, you have to let him win. Hell no, man. That, that was gonna no. be my next I'm question. Yeah, I was I was gonna because, ask the question to Luca. Say Luca. Because when he get better, yeah. for sure he will bust my ass. He will not say. It. And that's gonna I'm be the last time you play him. <laughs> okay. That's what I was gonna ask, Luca. How how close are you at to beating your dad now in one on one? Uh, well, not so close. <laughs> no. Oh, what? He he's 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 just shy now. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna <laughs> shit. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna dunk. We have a basket at home. Yeah. Like on the on the door, and he's doing this. <laughs> yes, I call. Like I turn. He will run. Ah, oh, <laughs> dunk on me. You see. God damn it. Come on, son. 
And then I tell him, okay, let me turn. And I say, dunk over me now. <laughs> and he go, Father, I tell him, because you go and you you are thinking that I'm going to block you. Mm. No, go like that. Go, dunk. He's, he's the guy that, I don't know, you're the best blocker or close uh, to? Number two. Number two. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, how, how tall are you? Uh, let's say two, let's say two centimeters on a good day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but he, have, he, he, he have the feeling and everything went to jump and he blocked all the shots because he never, he never showed emotion. Maybe he hide mm-hmm. if somebody dunk over him or anything, because he, he cannot, he cannot block a shot if he don't go or nah. think about, or he gonna dunk or whatever. It's part of the game. That's man. why I hate him. Part of the game. He blocked this <laughs> so many. Do you remember on practice when I dunked over you one time? You were yeah. weak side or something, and I yeah. yelled. Like, you yelled like, and you ran. Don't you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. something now. <laughs> yeah, I think we didn't talk for like two days after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we had cash between us and money yeah. to eat you. You were like, you were afterwards. You were like, you want to get dinner? I was like, nah, I want to get dinner with you, man. I'm going home. Man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought. Well, you know, I talked a lot. I, I, I well, I apologize. Now for that man, please accept my apologies. Nah, man, it, it was. But fun, you like can understand a white guy to dunk over you. Man, it was. You know, white men can't jump, <laughs> can't jump, <laughs> and especially this guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, we had we had some some good times. Now I have Incredible. a few more a few more questions. Um, as you know, much as you want, man. Let have... Luca fall asleep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, we gonna keep him up, man. This is good stuff. This is history. Yeah. Um, 20 years of almost 20 years of basketball you played. You know, what was, if you can say one moment, what was your favorite moment? I can't. No. I can't. Because there is certain with the club moments, there yeah. is certain with the national team. But if I have to choose, it's about, uh, it's all, so everything is connected, you know, mm-hmm. the club, the challenges that we talk now, but for the emotional part, the thing that you say, the old people who are as one for a long time, that didn't happen in our country. There is no politics, there is no religion, that we were happy that the, there was one month of happiness yeah. in this country. The people, <clears throat> government stopped to work, uh, to watch the game, to support us. The After every game going around the city, people were making celebration. And this, this feeling is one of the special feelings, you know, for me. And mm-hmm. if I have to choose, I would choose this one. The 2011 emotions that, uh, like you said, we didn't, nobody expected us. Yeah. Like the first EuroLeague, the, the, the year, they will say, hell, they will not. Yeah, yeah. Even the second year, they will not. But this is the best feeling, you know, to ever. win it when everybody are not respecting you or just <clears throat> talking some beer, trash. This was the best. To play against one Pogba soul or every or everybody and don't look them in a way oh superstars yeah regardless how they look man you same flash flash of me we yeah. go fly fight and this same, was yeah. built up in a bigger level <clears throat> now before before I, I let you go I have a few questions usually on this podcast I try to you know kind of put in some I guess you say a, a little more of a serious topic and one of the things I want to talk to you about is your mindset and your mentality. Um, which I think is something that is, is special. Um, you know, for me, from, you know, from looking and knowing you, um, your mentality is that, you know, win, lose, or draw, like you're going to get the most out of this. You're going to enjoy every single moment. Um, so talk about that mentality and talk about that mindset. Like, how did you develop that? Uh, you know, life is too short to, to go back about bad things, about... Mm. Uh, losses because for me you never lose a game you never uh you you can only learn you can mm-hmm. lose if you, you repeat the mistake twice for me that's that's a fail but if you learn everything in life is uh a lesson you, you in every bad thing you, you have to find some there is something good you know to build your confidence to build mm-hmm. your your mentality and i look always forward for new challenges uh always try to learn from everything never blame nobody there is no mistakes it's always my fault to build uh, my confidence to go forward and uh to live the life you know mm-hmm. to be positive you know we we'll, i have priorities mm-hmm. <laughs> my boys <laughs> and try to be always there for them to teach them to be positive to 
to be humble, to, mm -hmm. you know, to live the life in the right way, regardless uh, what you have. The most important thing for me is to live the life and to be humble and to enjoy it. Now, you're on the list of, you know, anybody you talk to that played with you. Many people will say that you're one of their favorite <laughs> teammates, if not their favorite teammate that they've ever played with. You know, talking to everybody has a story, whether or not it's from Spanulis to Gigi to me to to plenty of guys. Um, and you mentioned so many guys today. You know, what does that mean to you to, you know, to to be recognized by, you know, your peers, you know, about this, you know? It's the thing that I tell you that it's unex you cannot explain, you know, it's the yeah. feeling that I can go to Greece and I can sit and we can talk like me and you. I can come yeah. to the U.S., you can come here. That's something that uh, is, is not fake. It's real. You know, you can feel it. Nobody can fake friendship or, I mean, they can fake, but you can feel the real friendship by the smile, by the, uh, by the, by the, by that moment, by that emotions, you know, I love that. I have so many friends in Greece, in us, everywhere I played, I can go and feel like home. This is something special, you know, for a little kid from Skopje, from little country mm -hmm. to regardless what he make, but the friend, the friendship say like, also, a lot of other, you know, players tell you, you know, the most important is whatever you have in life, nothing can uh, make you happy like real friends. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's incredible. And that's why I think all the teams that I have been, most of the teams, two years with you, you know, is the, the thing we go to work, but we are here for one reason together, yeah. to win, to be successful, to go on the next level and to smile. And what, what, positive thing we have if we oh what we have to do or whatever yeah, yeah. we were smiling we were joking yeah, yeah. and nobody was offended you know like we, we are arguing but we know it's a different way of argument yeah. because this is for something good that you can answer to me and we can find we're gonna find the middle the middle the best solution and this is this is also like one more trophy yeah in life I agree, man. I agree, one man. of the biggest trophies. The biggest trophy, definitely, man. Definitely. I think that's definitely one of your, one of not, you know, one of your many, you know, legacies, you know, that you left in your career. Now, you just spoke about it too. Um, you know, you played on so many successful teams, you know, won titles, you know, championships, played in so many big games. Um, you know, how big is chemistry or how big is like the new word creating culture, um, you know, involved in that? Um, <clears throat> the most important, you know, the most important also the chemistry in the team, the chemistry with the, the city where you mm -hmm. play, because, you know, people to a lot of people think that, hey, sportsmen are this are a higher level than us. You know, they're more famous, but they, they like the NBA do, like a lot of teams do. You're in the players union, you know, mm -hmm. the EuroLeague Association of the players. You know, how is it when you uh, mix with the people, go in the, some areas, help building yeah. something or uh, attend at some events and people see you like, and this feeling is also the best. Like, hey, I see Kyle Hans, that, that's the same like when I go to Ajax. Oh, look, these players, you know, yeah. and this, these things is all together with the basketball, the fans. Again, we get that, that finish like uh, result that everything is about togetherness, you know. And this is the best package that can happen. And the best seasons always happen like this. Mm -hmm. Even if they owe you money, you know, five months, <laughs> you still enjoy the season. And this is the, this is the this thing, is the, man. This is, the, this is the thing that's most important. <laughs> because nobody will go five months for free to be yelled at and whatever, man. But we did it, you know. <clears throat> we forget it. Not that we don't need them or that we're not going to get it. But at yeah. that moment, we don't feel it. We, we don't think about it. Yeah, that's, that's why I said it was one of my favorites because like, <clears throat> it was the joy. The, it was really the Man. essence of the joy of coming to the gym every day and the joy of playing basketball. Listening to that. <laughs> yeah. All his stories and everything. Man, that, hey. was, that was... Guys, play four. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What you played? Yeah, I said yeah. five. No, you said four. But Gelly, <laughs> what they say? Four. But Gelly, you will tell me. <laughs> uh, we 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 will stay ten days if we talk. Man, about I, I told I, we gotta we gotta do because uh, our I mean our anniversary is coming up in the next couple of years, and I was yeah. like, we should do like a. Yeah, to go and meet in Greece. Uh, meet all together and do like a last dance, like type of like, you know, documentary, like all of us talking. Man, all that would the be stories, perfect, man. Because people don't because know how many, 
how many stories and how many stuff we have in our uh, the background of you know of that would happen with these Allah. two Allah. Man. Man. <laughs> you know <laughs> too many <laughs> you remember when we won the title the first thing that we all do we catch the doctor or totally and we yeah. him in jacuzzi. Yeah, the jacuzzi we don't celebrate the title no. we wanted to, no. to go and to no. have fun in our no. everybody put everybody yeah. in the shower <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got two two more questions, and I'll let you get out of here. Um, you know, your tip. And you said two questions ten questions ago. I know, so man. But extra, I, extra I, I, have, I mean, I, I have a lot to talk. I mean, I don't get a chance to talk to you every day, man. man. So we can is... say part one, part two. I'm here, man. <laughs> now, what what would your tips be or your advice for a younger player? You know, the the younger player right now who's in Macedonia or, you know, Luca for that matter of who wants to be successful, you know, have a successful <laughs> basketball career. What would your tips be as somebody that's kind of seen uh, it all and done it? I, all. I, I, I don't know if I want him to answer <laughs> this because I teach him. He, he's a he's a witness. Yeah. I teach him to enjoy basketball, not to work it, to mm -hmm. enjoy, to smile. Yeah. Not to get uh, because he will miss a shot. When you miss a shot, what do I say when you do what you do? Ah, oh, he will do what I tell you. I tell him up and down. Yeah. If you want to run, be angry, be mad, enjoy. Everybody miss. Cal miss so many shots. I miss, but shooter never stop shooting. Yeah, man. You shoot, know, shoot. you go looking forward to enjoy to be to be to enjoy this thing that I say is the most important. To enjoy basketball to respect the teammates mm -hmm. because it's a team sport. If you don't want, he can go chess to play <laughs> because it's so simple, you know, to be good in school. Mm -hmm. School education is always is number one, but the basketball ways I tell them enjoy. Like as a president, we played in Russia now. Mm -hmm. I see the players, we are done. I say, I call them on the side. I say, hey, please smile. Lose 20 if you want. Not that I want to lose, but smile. smile. There is a different way of losing Mm -hmm. In a way, fighting way, there is a losing. In a cowardly way, mm -hmm. smile, enjoy the game, laugh, mm -hmm. uh, have fun together, guys. It's a basketball, it's a ball. We're gonna win day, we're gonna lose. But the most important thing is to build, to stay together, not Absolutely. to to go one session of some competition. We didn't make it. Okay, Kyle's fault, this fault. <laughs> let's change this guy. Let's change this guy. No, let's yeah, build yeah. slowly, and the result is the result will come. I absolutely agree, man. Not that's, to that's... not to think too much about a hey, basketball yeah. this, basketball this. No, always put challenges in front of yourself. And if you fail in that challenge, learn from that challenge. Try you never fail and see where you make mistakes and let's go to the next one. Yeah, that's, man. That's that's absolutely great advice, man. I appreciate you for sharing that. Now, last question. You are you are you are different kind of way. Oh man, I, I just because go because I try to teach you to go left, but you're <laughs> going right. I'm still so going right, man. Teaching. My teaching is not good for everybody. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll tell this. I'll tell this quick story. Like, um, so when we were we were in Olympiacos, and I would ask you, I was like, man, why don't you ever go into paint? I was like, why do you only shoot threes? And you told me you were like, you know, as you get older, you know, you get you shoot further away from the basket. So I always remember that. So when our coach asked me now, he's like, oh, you shoot? Why are you shooting so many jump shots? So I'm like, hey, man. You know, as I get older, I'm starting to get further away from the basket. So yeah, I always man, remember you hey. said that. <laughs> and you had, I, we was waiting for you three. You remember we were forcing you, shoot three, Kyle, yeah, shoot three, shoot, 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 shoot three. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Like you are, the, you are the, this type of character, even in, in those moments. Yeah. No, I know my role. I, <laughs> I, I, want, I know my job. Don't do this, guys. I said, Kyle, come on, man. <laughs> People, to see smile in Kyle's face in the game. Find me a clip. I will. I will. I will video it. I'm, I'm too focused, man. I'm too serious, man. I know. I know. You're a professional. I told you. You know, a lot of there is not even one person that I have talked about you, coaching stuff like with Queen Snyder. We talked with Kenny Atkinson in NBA. These guys that know Europe, European basketball, that respect a lot. Man, this guy, man, this guy. <laughs> I'm like, what about me, people, man? <laughs> God damn, Kyle is good. I know. They sound good. But I'm, but I'm better. <laughs> like, and he's a beast, Luca. He's a beast. He going. Go, I, I would say, I'm. I, I didn't do a lot of job in the weight room. <laughs> this guy will go all muscles like a Robocop. He will do this and say, Coach, put weight. And we sitting with Kesha like this, and this guy one, two, three, four, five. Is it? Kyle, you good, man? Uh -huh. Okay. I said, damn, if I do that, 
It's broken on the half. It's over. <laughs> it's over. You remember Andreas? Yeah, I remember. Oh, with pressure. Pressure point. I remember. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Man. All right. Last question. Your favorite yep. past EuroLeague player and your favorite present EuroLeague player. And this this is, goes for Luca too. Luca, what is who is your favorite EuroLeague player let right me, now? Let me think. But I will not say the people that I know. No. Your favorite. Who's your I favorite EuroLeague player? <laughs> Oh, Passion now. Passion now. Yeah. Well, you for best. <laughs> oh, it's good choice. Good choice. Oh, good choice. Oh my you son. You can tell he's a he's a wait, politician's wait, son. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say I would say oof, between I would say Tony Kukoc. Nice. As uh, present, I don't want to send Spanulis, you know. I don't want. <laughs> uh, For present, mine is Milos Teodosic. Milos? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I will say, I will say, I wanted to say Luca, but Luca played a little bit. Luca don't change, but he's yeah. in the NBA. But I will say Billy, you know, Billy's still playing on a high level. Yeah. Uh, we are the same age. I'm retired two years. This guy's still busting. There still, is beeping your busting ass. Still, still, man. Still, still, in still. In your going, league, man. man. Playing high level. And this guy, hey, six kids. Yeah. Hey, yes. But Billy, Billy, Billy is one of my favorites by the work ethic. By also, we like to piss him off a lot. <laughs> Billy, Billy's the, the greatest, the greatest of all time, man. Billy's another man. one that a lot of people don't know. His sense of humor, his personality off the court, man. He's, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have to meet him and to, yeah. to, to know him, you know. Yeah, man, he's, yeah. he's he's a killer on the court, but he's a, he's he's a, such a great guy and such a funny guy. He's so calm, like people will never notice, you know. No. Also, he hides with the head. Yeah, calm. man, you you are Spanulis Vasilis. Right there, there. Let <laughs> let people see you, man. Now he have a good hairstyle. You remember how much I forced yeah. his hairstyle now? To, yeah, because he was letting it go. He was yeah. Mykonos and this like this, but now it's all. <laughs> oh man all right man thank yeah. thank you so much for you guys taking the time of, of joining man um, thank you thank you so good to see you we talk people always, don't know we man, talk. i gotta i gotta Baby. we gotta uh we gotta see each other man we gotta once uh this man COVID send me stuff, some tickets man i know yeah once you know once, don't uh, have luca took my last money now oh, for man, this once once uh once COVID once COVID ends man we don't gotta is there fans this is there no. fans in italy no we don't no. have fans no we don't have fans so, Family only. Yeah, no, nah, we don't have fans. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna meet in some restaurant, man. Yeah, man, definitely. We definitely gotta gotta. Waiting it for out, you, man. man. You're now the bigger boss. Euroleague nah, association, <laughs> Euroleague like a league. <laughs> Milano, CSK captain, all these nah, trophies. Man. We're, How many I wanna, trophies I, you I, want? Let me ask you this last question. How many trophies you want with CSK? Is that? I forget the number. You said uh, it in some interview. Uh, seven, <laughs> seven VTB and two Euroleague, so nine, nine. Okay, Russian, the Russian championship. Yeah, and all, all that. Yeah, 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 something like this. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. I will come back next year, maybe in Russia too. <laughs> Try to pop it. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. I got. I want to. I want to come to. Uh, I want to come to Macedonia, man. So we definitely waiting for you that. from 2011. Sure. You tell me that you will for come sure. for sure. I wanted to come to your uh, to the re your retirement game, but I know I. I, I did. Saying. I canceled it because I, know, I want I know. to play, man. I know. I still I know. want to play. I know. I know. I know. So we'll uh, eventually we'll, we'll we'll figure something out. You will come. You will come for sure. For sure. For sure. Thank for you sure. for the invite, brother. Always, Anytime. man. Stay uh, Waiting for part two. Yes, for sure. We're gonna put last eighteen for the for stories. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Kisses to the family. The kids. Yes. Kids are growing. So happy for that. Yours too, man. Thank Yours to too. Wifey, father, brother, mother, the crew. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Awesome. We stay in touch, brother. Thank Take you. Take care. I'll talk to you again soon.